Uh, stand by. Three, two. So if you could just lose the face fat, uh, the baby fat, and that would be great. Okay, get a smoking hot bod, but the face just needs some work. Okay, Rosa, your your face is fine, but um, if you could just start wearing pants more, that would be really nice because we'll be sending you to Korea, and you've got these man legs, and I just don't know if it's a good idea for you to be representing Cal TV uh, with the man legs. So if you could just put on some pants once in a while, that would be great. Thanks. And of course, we have the champ, the legend, the man himself, Antonio. Good job, buddy. Okay, we're gonna go and get a get a, get a beer later. Yeah, let's, I'm totally done. I'll get a, uh, I'll get a fake, I just, okay, that's, thanks, boy. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, tomorrow, you're obviously inhibited with, uh, with alcohol when you film your shows, and that is really obvious. So if you could just drink one less bottle of vodka before you shoot, that would be great. Okay, thanks. Yeah, Yao, his, his head's really big, so, mm, you know how he rides his bike to work? I think he custom orders his helmets and his cargo pants. People don't take Yao seriously enough. They don't give him credit. He knows everything about television. He knows everything about Cal TV. He's like a television Bible. And uh, Katie Felber, if you could talk a little bit less when we fail next time, if you could just like not talk as much during the show, uh, I think that would really make the show much better. Okay, all right. Now with you, Chin, it's not a matter of you talking too much. It's just a matter of me not understanding the words that are coming out of your mouth because you don't speak English really well. So if you could take an English class next semester or something, you know, or just talk less as well, that would be nice too. Okay, thanks, Chin. Uh, <clears throat> And Helga, you dress like my third grade teacher, okay? So if you could maybe not dress like a 75 year old, we might actually have young guys actually watch the show. And I think you're probably the only reason why we don't have that demographic right now, okay? Just because you remind them of their ugly old third grade teacher, okay? So if we could, if we could just slutty it up a little bit like, uh, like Tamara does, that would be great. Okay, thank you. I hate it when you know films us and he just we start talking and then he just talks over us. Oh really? Yeah. I yeah. But he's helping me out with a plus two axe, so it's oh, not nice. half bad. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what that means. So I got Christmas decorations. How do you like my bobblehead? <clears throat> um. Yeah. So where's the menorah? <laughs> it's it's mm. Christmas. That's what I thought. It's mm. Christmas. Typical. Yeah. Okay. Nice, Helga. I don't even know what ethnicity she is. I mean, how am I supposed to throw a party for someone that I don't know where she comes from? I mean... Katie, I think she's a uh, half Hawaiian. French Moroccan. Egyptian. A touch of Korean. Maybe Eskimo. Or maybe a touch of Japanese. I just figure if I were a celebrity, I'd probably adopt her. What is she? Yeah, you know, I don't understand why Helga couldn't have planned a Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa party here. Represent all ethnicities. Jesus Christ. Maybe because she's an insensitive bitch. That's 
just. But I actually did want to talk to you about something I didn't understand. Oh yeah. Um, which is hey. this red hair you have. Most boring right? meeting ever. No. Oh, um, I think y'all asked me to get him a little thing again. More like so. oval sh Yeah, I'll be up right back though. Okay. Antonio, before yeah. you go, um, so you know how I'm like, you know, planning the whole Christmas thing that's going on, and so uh, before party, I want to just give you a little oh. gift, you know, it's, thanks, it's thanks. From, from, from me, something cute, and uh, oh. thought you'd like it. Th thanks. See, isn't it cute? I mean, it just goes over here like this, and then you kind of just go... I found like a blanket and a pillow and a picture of me outside of my house this morning. I'm not really sure why. I don't know why someone would leave those things there, you know. I think they mistook my house for the Salvation Army. But I don't really know why they had a picture of me. I don't think it's bad that I watch him all the time. I mean, it's not like I watch him from the inside of his house. I make sure to stay outside. What do you want to eat for dinner tonight? Uh, you know, the usual. You want to make lasagna? <laughs> you know, honestly though, I'm a sabotage.